Welcome back, guys. In this lecture, I would like to take care of our log off functionality. In the last lecture, we had set up all the links, right? If I sign in here, redirect it, and you see the dashboard and log out link. But if I click, if we click on this log out, where nothing happens. I mean, there's really there's no action that redirects us back to sign in or these uh, values over here in local storage and cookies still pers they still remain and when in reality they should be gone. All right, so that's what I want to take care of. To get started, we're going to create an event listener that will happen within our header component. Going, uh, going down to this list tag, which has our logout button. Below the class name, go ahead and we're going to create an event, an, a click event, uh, event listener. And that click on click is going to, we're going to pass in a handle log, logout function. Save that. So now that we have an, an event listener for a click, we have that set. So we'll go ahead and mark that off. Next is we want to create an event handler. All right. So this we have we have a handle logout that we caught here for our click event. Let's go ahead and create that event handler over here, right below the header, the start of the header component, and do it's called handle log logout. And we know that with all event listeners, with all events that are triggered, we get an event object that's passed automatically. Um, in this event handler, I'm really not going to be making use of this event object, but just for just as a habit, I still I still prefer to still pass it along. Now, this is the startup or this is the setup for our event handler. Let's go ahead and mark this off, create event handler. Next thing we want to do is create a logout function. This logout function we haven't created yet, but we want to exit or we want to call it within our event handler or the handle logout function right in here. And let's go ahead and create that inside our helpers folder and our auth file. So opening up the auth file right below our is authenticated function. Let's go ahead and create that and call it logout. Now this logout function is going to have a callback function. Uh, it's going to have a callback. Uh, I'm going to call it next. However, you'll often see, you might see people often do like CB for callback or just spell it out completely like this callback. But me, I personally like next because it just seems to, it just seems to make more sense. And also because I use express and express middleware, if you're familiar with them is you know that the middleware is that often you call next at the very end to, to tell, uh, to tell the function to continue on to, 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 okay, to continue on to the next function to proceed. Uh, so for me, that's just a, ha I prefer next. All right. So continuing on in this logout function, we want to call out two things or, or the main thing we want to take care of in this function is to, to remove the cookie and to remove the local storage. Now, the good thing about this is that we have already created functions for both of these. Now, if we go into your helpers and open the cookies file within it, look over here. We have created in the past a set cookie, get cookie, and delete cookie. We will be making use of this delete cookie and opening up local storage. The local storage file, we did pretty much the same thing. We did a set, a uh, setting, a getting, and deleting local storage, which is a great thing because now all we have to do is essentially uh, import these functions into whatever file we want to make you or uh, wherever we want to make use of it and then uh, call those functions. And that will be, let me see here, create logout function. Okay, so logout function. So that will be within here. 
So let's go ahead and import that. Let's go ahead and call it delete cookie. And then we have local storage below it and we can do delete local storage. So now that we imported it, we can make use of both of them. And I will be making use of them within this logout function. So starting off, I will be doing with the cookie. It will be delete cookie. And we have to provide as an argument the name of the cookie. Now, if we look over here, uh, don't mind this error here. Don't worry about that. Looking over here to the right, if we look at the cookie, we gave it the name cookie. Or I'm sorry, inside the cookie, the name of that was called token. So pass that right in here, call it token. That will delete that cookie. And the next thing is deleting the local storage. And similar to the deleting cookie, we have to pass in the name of that local storage. So looking over here, we called it user. So we want to delete user. And that's pretty much it for that. So that should, so both of these functions will delete both, uh, we will delete the cookie and local storage. And finally, towards the end of this logout function, we call our callback function, which in this case we called it next, which essentially says, okay, proceed uh, to continue on. And going back to the header function, where we have uh, over here called our logout function, let's go ahead and pass that argument, the, the callback function. So pass the function within the logout. And we want to, well, we created the logout function. It's, we want to redirect the logout user. We will take care of that within this callback. And we want to we want to get access to the history object. The good thing about that is that over here we know I don't know if it, I don't recall if it was the last video or, but we have we we brought in the this with router below at the very end we wrap this with router around the header. This with router has access to the history object. So so that's a good thing and I will show you right now that if we do uh, with with router over here, see with router, you get access to the history objects properties. Now to the right, you see an example of this over here. You see they have the with router and they wrapped it around the show the location component right here, and within that component, you see they had these structured, these properties, and one of those properties is history from this props. So we have access to the history object. All right, so now it, for us to destruct, for us to, destru uh, to get access of that history object, we just create an open, uh, create these uh, curly braces here, and within them, call history. So within our functional component, we can call it right in here and do history dot push. And then the URL we want to push to, we want to redirect the user to the sign in page. And we, we have an error here. Logout is not defined. Okay. Yes, we have to call it over here. Uh, over here we have within our auth file, we, we have the logout. So we have to import it right here inside our header component. Right next to is authenticated. Do log out. Save. And that should be it for that. Redirect the logged out user. All right, next thing we're going to do is uh, change the link to a button. Now going back to the header component. Over here for links, links they have this attribute here. We've been making use of links many times and we have this attribute here to two. Well, the thing is that we are not making use of this two property because instead what we're, oh, wrong place. I'm, it was the wrong place. I'm, I go below here. This is the correct link. Over here, the logout link, 
we don't need this because instead we are using make use of a, cl an, uh, a click event listener which uh, handles that for us. So if I remove this here, we should get an error. Over here, failed prop type. The prop two is marked as required in link. So to get around this, we have to create a button. And if I save that, going back here to the nav, you're gonna see that this, this does not appear like the link we had prior to it, right? Totally different, stylistically it is not the same. What we're gonna have to do then to make it appear like a link is do some styling within this button, okay? So we're gonna, first of all, we change the link to a button, all right? And the next thing we wanna do is to style that button to make it up, to make it look like a link. I'm gonna close this file here because we don't need this. Uh, where are we are? Okay, so in the header component, the way we're gonna do that is inside uh, our class name prop over here. We're gonna change some things up here. So remove the nav link that we had previous. And first of all, we're gonna do btn, btn dash link. This is bootstrap class. And if we save and go back, all right, look here. All right, so it's not exactly what we expected or uh, how we, we wanted it to look, but it's getting closer, right? Uh, there are a few things we're gonna have to change uh, class-wise to make it uh, appear like it. For one is, the color, we're gonna have to change the color to make it look like the dashboard. And the other thing is this underlined link. And then thirdly is to shift this logout button to the left and that will be uh, done with padding. We will remove the padding from the left side. So those are the three things we'll take care of in order to achieve our goal. All right, so uh, right here next to button button link, do another one. We're gonna start with the color first, and the color we could take care of that with uh, what was it? Text secondary. Save and go back. So now we got similar color. All right. Next thing I want to do is remove the underline, and we can do that with text decoration and then none. Save go back it's gone and then finally we want to shift this to the left therefore remove the padding from it and we can do that with p is a pl for padding left and then zero so zero padding to the left Sev, uh, save go back now look what we got here and that is it so now we actually have a great uh, a button that styled as though it was a link. Going back to the notes, we styled our button and then the final thing is to test it, right? That's the main thing that we wanna take care of here. And let's go here, open up your application tab. We see currently the user is log out, uh, logged in. And if we look in local storage, they, we have the user that's logged in. And if we go to cookies, we have their token. So if I log out, I should be redirected. And then secondly, both of these local storage and cookies should be gone, empty. So let's give that a go. Log out. Log out. Okay, why isn't that working? Did I save it? Wait, hold on. Let me make sure I saved. Handle log out. Okay, let's go back. Okay, let me let me go back here again. Sign in. All right, we get the local storage and cookies. If I log out, there we go. All right, so you saw I was redirected, and if I click on local storage and cookies, it's gone. 
All right, so we achieved our objective. We took care of the logout functionality. So uh, yeah, we're off to a good start. Uh, we're doing uh, very good and um, yeah. All right, so off to the next. Uh, I'll see you in the next video.